My name is Tyler Strang. I am on the board of LMT and I'm the stage manager for Newsies. So Dave Mikla came and proposed Newsies to LMT as a collaboration between Chinook High School and the community. And it's a wonderful opportunity for everyone getting these high schoolers into the position to be open and introduced to theater in Lethbridge and getting the community to work with these young new artists. It's amazing creating so many opportunities for students, for university students like myself and a couple of our designers as well. It's just an amazing collaboration throughout all of Lethbridge and it's truly wonderful to see. So the Chinook students are absolutely amazing to work with. It's a, an incredibly talented bunch. They're all amazing dancers, singers, they're so talented. And seeing them here work with Alicia and Dave on the days that I can't make it because they actually have class time here while I'm also in classes at the university. It's, they, they're building the show with me gone and having my assistant stage managers from Chinook uh, working on everything and passing it on to me afterwards. This is very important to, I believe, Chinook and LMT both. It's just opening up both to the community, getting everyone to come see what's coming next. Like, as long as I've been in Lethbridge, I haven't really heard anything about LMT until I started working with a couple of the people on the board on other shows. And they said, hey, join us, work on our shows, and here I am. And it's just introducing more and more people to this. So the students here are going to be the Manhattan Newsies course, as well as they're also going to be the ones doing all the scene transitions, creating the show all together. And Newsies is such a chorus-based show. So like getting to see them dance and sing throughout the entire time, it's amazing. I have to applaud them for that. I would not be able to dance that long. But it's just, I'm saying this a lot, but it's amazing. My name is Dave Mikulak, and I work here at Chinook High School. And I teach music theater studies and uh, choral music here. In my view, from an educational kind of scope and sequence perspective, the music theater studies program, the last three years, if you include this project, um, the first year we worked on uh, Les Mis, which was largely a, you know, a, uh, it's basically an opera, right? So it was very vocal oriented. And then Fiddler on the Roof last year, which is very much a book musical, it had a lot of character work. And uh, this one, Newsies, which has a real intensive choreographic and dance focus. And so really it's kind of looked at the, at the music theater curriculum and you went, okay, well, the first one was very vocal, the second one was very much about acting, and this one's very much about dance, and that hits the three areas really well. So that made sense educationally. Um, and then it made sense in terms of involving the community um, with adult roles and other roles. As it is, we have 16 members of the Newsy Chorus from Brooklyn um, who are not students at our school, they're students from other schools in the community. And then of course, all of the adult roles are played by adult actors in our community. So in terms of the companies, about 30 that are Chinook students and there's about 30 that are from the community and bringing that together in kind of a hybrid is, it's kind of neat. Um, uh, people get to experience um, each other's skills and talents and those older actors get inspired by the energy of our youth and, and their commitment and their ability. and. On the other side of it, our, our youth get to see maybe a glimpse of themselves in the future with these uh, people who live in the community and enjoy theater and enjoy performing even when they are um, beyond high school years. This is a relaunch for Lethbridge Musical Theater and I mean, it's a historic company. Um, they've been involved in our community for over a half a century. And uh, so uh, we're really excited to be part of that relaunch. Um, the tickets are available through the Yates box office in NMAX um, and uh, they can be found on that website or by going down to the Yates. The performance itself is not at Chinook High School, it is at the Yates in downtown Lethbridge. Um, the show runs uh, November 1st, 2nd and 3rd, uh, that's a Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Uh, the Saturday and Sunday also have uh, matinee um, performances. Um, so. There's four that weekend. 
Um, matinee is at 2 and curtain time in the evening is 7. We go dark for three days and we do another weekend at the 8th, uh, November 7th, 8th and 9th. And on the 9th, uh, there are, uh, there's a matinee on that closing night as well. Um, so we have two shows on the final Saturday. So eight shows total over the two weekends. Lethbridge has um, a reputation um, uh, the, from a live performance standpoint of being last minute Lethbridge. And Lethbridge Musical Theatre really wanted to encourage pre-sale on this show. And so what they've done is if people know they're going to come to the show, uh, they want to encourage folks to buy before October 16th. Um, and if you purchase your tickets before October 16th, um, there are $5 discount per ticket on every ticket that you purchase.